standard edition licensing matters aside, is there any benefit to running a 16-core SQL Server as four sockets with four cores, two sockets with eight cores, one socket with 16 cores, etc.? Yes, it depends on the underlying hypervisor host architecture. If you're running on a hypervisor host, like a VMware host or Hyper-V host, that only has, say, just to pick a random number, um, six, look, I've had a drink or two, has six cores per CPU, then you don't want to uh, set up a VM that has, say, eight cores per CPU because you're going to run into NUMA architecture problems. The term to search for is NUMA, N-U-M-A, which stands for Non-Uniform Memory Architecture, I believe. Um, search for that in combination with your chosen hypervisor, like VMware Hyper-V and its version, um, and VM guest configuration, and you should be able to find some tips about how you make the guest match the host's hypervisor configuration. Short story is you don't want a VM guest that has more cores per socket than the underlying physical server does. And there are more complications than that, but I'm trying to boil it down to 10 seconds. And that 